What's going on guys? In this video, we are going to see an example on application of first order differential equation. The question here is asking to find out a function model that is related to i of t. Now in order to do this one, we have another relation like a Kirchhoff's voltage law and we know that according to Kirchhoff's voltage law in a loop, addition of all the voltage is equal to zero. That's what we have right here. And here we have the current is going from negative to positive, so that's going to be a voltage rise. So this is going to be E right here. And then we this current is going through the resistance and that's going to be a voltage drop. That's going to be I is equal to, V is equal to IR, so this is going to be I times R. And here we have capacitance and voltage across the capacitance is going to be Q is equal to CV. C is actually Q is equal to CV. Therefore, V is equal to Q over C. So this is going to be Q over C, and that's going to be equal to zero. And this is our Kirchhoff's voltage law in this in this loop. Now, here what we are trying to do is we are going to bring this one into our differential equation pattern. Now, in order to do that, we have to find the derivative because if you remember that in differential equation first order linear differential equation pattern looks like this we should have i prime and also we have to have a function with respect to time times the i is equal to another function with respect to time right so this is the generic pattern now in order to bring this one into that pattern we have to find the derivative of this one now let's take the derivative d by dt of e minus i r minus q over c but here we can do one more thing and if you remember that uh, i is equal to q dq by dt right if i is equal to dq by dt then dq is going to be equivalent to i dt therefore q is going to be equivalent to integration of i dt right now this is the relationship with respect to i dt i so we can instead of this q we can replace this one like this so this is going to be instead of q we can put integration of i dt over c is equal to zero now if we take the derivative of this side we have to do the same thing in the other side of this equation so we are going to take the derivative of zero and it's going to be just zero because there's no t here and here if we take the derivative E is uh, not changing with time so this is going to be constant so this is going to be zero and here i is the only thing that's changing with time so this is going to be i prime and r is going to be constant so r and then if we find the derivative derivative and integration can just cancels each other so we will get i over c and in the other side of the equation we will have zero now i over c okay so here we have this one now in the standard form this would be i prime right here when we take the derivative this would be i prime and in the standard form you should notice we have i prime alone we don't have negative or any r with that one right so to bring this one in standard form what we have to do is we have to divide everything by negative r and if you do that you will get i prime this is going to become plus and this is going to become i over rc is equal to zero now if you notice this is a separable equation and uh, we have i prime i prime we can write this one as di over dt so you can see that clearly plus i over rc now let's move this i over rc to the other side of the equation okay let's continue with different color di is going to di over dt is going to be equal to i negative i over rc now this is separable equation so we can bring the like terms together so first one we are going to have is 1 over i di and the other side of the equation we are going to have 1 negative 1 over rc dt and now what we have to do is we have to integrate both sides and if you integrate this one and this one here you will get ln of i and in the other side of the equation you are going to get negative 1 t over rc okay so this is our general also we have to have a constant and this is our general solution for this differential equation 
Now to find the particular solution, we have to have an initial condition or any other information. But in when time is equal to zero, this voltage is going to be E over R, right? So when the switch is closed, it's going to be E over R. So if the time is equal to zero, if the voltage is E over R, we can apply that one into this equation. If the time is zero, we are going to have this one zero and this one. I, okay, V is equal to IR, I is equal to V over R, right? I is equal to, v, so this is equal to I in the initial condition. So instead of ln I, we can put this one and this is zero. Therefore, C is going to be equal to ln of E over R. Now from this information, we can create our particular solution. Now let's get rid of this part because we need to continue this one right here, right? Let's quit, get rid of this one. Okay, so we are we are going to continue this one right here. Ln of i is equal to negative t over r c, and we found out that constant is equivalent to ln of e over r. So this is going to be ln of e over r. Now to bring this one like in terms of i, we can take e power everywhere. So this is going to be e power of ln of i and e power of minus t over rc and this one and here e, e and ln cancels each other so we are going to have i is equal to e power negative t over rc and if the powers are adding it means multiplication so this is going to be e power ln of e over r so finally we will end up with i is equal to e over r because e and ln cancels each other so e over r and times e of negative t over rc and this is going to be the function model that is in with respect to i of t and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching